dude, every once in a while I just need to fix any money. And I heard this song and of course I looked it up. Shoot, there's really no lessons for it, which is, you know, fine. A tab is zero. So here we are. We're going to get it all down. We're going to have the verse, intros, real, it's really well done song. Um, it's in the key of B standard tuning. Um, so it starts out on an F sharp. We're going to be playing the fifth root F sharp. And it's a down, up, down. Well, let me turn my guitar on. Slides down and then he hits a little muted note before hitting the F sharp again and then two more times. So again, that repeats four times. All right, so let's do two. One, two, three, four. After the fourth one, he goes into this form of a B chord. Alright, so he's not playing the sixth root, and he's playing the open E and B string, which are all in a B chord. So we'll be at the eighth fret on the third string, and the ninth fret on the fifth and fourth. We're not really going to hit the sixth string, although you could, but it's a little too bassy. And then we pick through the strings. It'll go the first string, second, and then first, second, third that we're holding on the eighth fret. All right, so what we have so far, one, two, three, four. Now we just move that down a whole step and we'll be forming an A. Same thing that open first and second string. The picking changes just slightly. We're not going to hit the third string. We're only going to hit the first and second two times. Because then we're moving back to our F sharp at the fifth root. One more time. All right, so let's do two of the F sharps in the, from the intro, the second half into the B and A, and then continue on with two more sets of the intro, which really, that's where the harmonica comes in. All right, so one, two, three, four. The verse starts. The key with the verse, all right, we've done the harmonica with two of the fifth root F sharps. All right, they will go to the fifth root F sharp one more time. That's during the start of the verse. And then he's singing. So the rhythm during that is, so we come up from our F sharp, now we're coming into the muted E string to the F sharp, and then two more. Now we're going to hit a mute, and then the F sharp, and then two mutes, and one F sharp, and then two F sharps. It's kind of, it's really a feel thing. If you want to get precise about it, I don't worry about it. I just play. But I divided that up for you because we've got the F sharp coming in while the verse starts. And then we've got three sets of the four, or just the F sharps, okay? After the third set, okay, we're going to come up to an E chord and leave that sixth string open. It just adds for a bigger chord. So it's a down, up, down, let it ring, and then they hit it one more time. It's an eight count. Down, up, down, two, three, four. Hit it, 
two, three, and then they do a little change with that chord. So it'll sound like this. <laughs> So that change, all right, once we hit the E, we count to four and again. What we're going to do after the third count is hit the E and then a real big muted and then another E. And then we're back to our F sharp, all right, we're going to do that for two more. All right, then. Now this is verse 1, they're going to come back to the F sharp and the F twice. Then they're into verse 2. Now verse 2 starts just like verse 1. Then we're into just holding the F sharp for really three counts or three sets of four. to our E. Then we're into the chorus. Alright, chorus is very well constructed and a little bit different in that he's doing fifth rooted chords but he's adding a sixth note to it from the sixth string. So it's cool. So the chords for the chorus are D, E and F sharp, but we're going to add the sixth string to the D, so that'll be D over A. We're just going to let that E string ring, and then we'll add it to the F sharp, which just changes the flavor a little, but we're in the chorus. So let me play through it, and then we'll talk about the actual how you strum it. So what we're basically doing is a down up, then down, and we're going to hit it as we move it, and then a down up down. So it's always down up, then a down, and then hit it and switch. All right. Show you my picking hand a little bit. Okay, so that was meant for the picking hand. I didn't move my finger off the E, if you notice that. But you, you get the idea. That's the rhythm. Just jam with it. I mean, it's in your head. So we're going to do the D, E, F sharp twice. All right. Then we come back in with our E with the open two strings, just like we did in the intro. All right. Okay, so we're back into another harmonica part. And then the verse starts, verse two, or three, I'm sorry, is just like verse two. Harmonica's over, now we're into the verse. So you got that down, that's just going over it a little again. We got chorus to the exact same as we did with the first one, except it cuts it a little short. And then they're into the lead. So before we go over the solo, let's talk about the solo rhythm. Alright, 
The solo rhythm is going to start out with our B and A just like we learned. Then just back up to the F. Again. So that's the rhythm underneath the actual solo. Alright, so basically we're going to follow um, the chorus out. All right. <laughs> playing over that. So they really do that, let's see, two sets for three measures. Okay, I've written that out. If I didn't mention, my notes are always available below the video there. Just click on the link. Um, so now we are to the solos. First part of the solo starts up here in second position. We'll go over that and talk about what he's doing. <laughs> Stop there, turn off the delay. I got a bit more distortion on there. So he starts it out with a quick slide into four on the fifth string. Then we're going to go to the second fret of the fourth string, to the fourth fret, back to two. Hold that. Alright, now we're going to do a walk down. It'll be the fifth string, four, three, two. We'll come to the 6th string, the A note at 5, back to 2, back to 5 with a bend and slow release. Then we come to the 2nd fret, we're going to hit that twice on the 6th string before the open, twice. Back to the 2nd fret, then the 5th. Come to the fifth string, second fret, back to five, and slide up. All right, so all together one, two, three, four. All right, the very first lick repeats. just slightly longer before he grabs the third string at the fourth fret, bends that up, and then he comes and taps on the seventh fret, pulls that off back to four, and we release that to two. Alright, so that's the first section of the lead. Then we're going to move up to the ninth uh, position. F of the second measure, that sounds better. Alright, so what we're doing, we're sliding into the fourth string 11, hitting 9 on the third, back to 11, and then we just lay our finger down and catch 11 on the third string. Then we hit 11 there, bend it up, and then another bend in a slow release. Before coming back to 9 on that 3rd string to 11 twice. Alright, so we have this so far. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we move, kind of change positions. Move to the 10th position. And now we're going to hit 10 to 12, back to 10, 12, bent, and then 10, landing, that's all on the second string, landing on the third string at 11 with the slide down. Alright, so we have this. Alright, 
Alright, so those first two licks together will slide into the 11. One, two, three, four. Four. Alright, at that point, we're still in the 10th position. We're going to grab the 12th fret of the first string with a bend and some vibrato, then another bend before we hit it unbent to 9. To 12 on the second, back to 9 on the first, and then 12 and 9 on the second. We're going to do a little walk down here. Now we want to switch positions. You can do it with the third finger to 9. We're going to go on the third fret from 11 to 9. Alright, so from the two bends at the 12. Hit 11 to 9, slide to 7 on the 4th string. Alright, at that point, what we're going to do is come to the 5th string, 9 pulled off to 7, and then hit 9 again. Then to 7. It's a little kind of melody. Alright, so from the two 12s again, 1, 2, 3, 4. to the ninth position on the third string, make that your first finger to 11, back to 10 on the second, and then 11 again on the third. We're going to grab 10 again with a bend and then 10 unbent to 11, 9, 11, and 11 again bent. So it'll be like this. Ten slid down on the second string. I know it's a lot of notes. Again, I've written it out. So let's do this whole second measure, second half. Right. One, two, three, four. So the last measure moves up all the way up to 19 and 22. So what we're going to do on the second string, 22, we're going to bend that, release it, hit 19 on the second string, and then we're going to go to the third string. We will hit that at 21 and then hit it again and bend it. Then we move to the 14th position. All right. Now we're going to hit six, uh, sorry, 17, bent, released, bent to 14. Then we're going to grab 16, bend that up slightly, catching 17, before we hit 16 again with a slight bend and let that 17 off. Now he does this real cool leg. hit 14 on the first to second string and 17 unbent. We'll do that um, twice. Then we're going to hit 14 to 14, 17 bent, back to 14. Then we're going to hit 17 bent, back to 14. So it's almost like there's two 17 to 14 bends. But there's a 14s before it. <laughs> I know, it's a lot of numbers. So let me show it to you again slowly, up to that point. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to hit 17. This is the very last lick. So 14, 15, and 17 with some vibrato as we bend. That ends the solo. So it's really, really well executed, well played, just a great rhythmic lead. Um, 
Now we're going to go over the licks at the end that go over the chorus because it kind of answers some of Eddie's singing um, with these lead licks underneath. So I'll go over those in order next. So the first lick you'll hear over that chorus, we're going to do this. At, we're going to start at the seventh fret and move up to the ninth fret. It'll sound like this. So basically we're sliding on the fifth string seven to nine. Then we take the fourth string from eleven pulled off to nine, land on the fifth string at nine. Next slick comes all the way up again to 22 on the second string. He's going to bend it once and then strike it about eight times before bending it again, catching 19 to 21. That's 19 on the second string again. And 21 on the third string, back to 19, slid down. <laughs> And then he comes back into that 14 kind of lick. We're going to hit 14 on the first string to 17. Again, 14, 17 bent then. Then we come to 14, 17, 14 on the second string, 16, 14 on the third, and 16, 14 on the fourth. All right, so we have this all together. So these licks are really well done. Again, they're kind of in the chorus when Eddie's singing and answering his singing. Um, then we move up back to the second position. We're going to go to the fourth string. So we're going to do a similar lick. We're going to hit that second fret of the third string with a little vibrato. Then we're going to walk down from the fourth string. 4-2 to 4-3-2 on the 5th string before we hit 5 with a bend and release on the 6th. Then we just go 2-5, two, 2-4. Two, uh, two, 5 will be on the 6th string, 2-4 on the 5th and 4th. Alright. Next lick. Again, we're changing position. So he's adding just tension and release to these vocals and as we're coming out of this. Alright, so the next lick, very kind of familiar. We're going to start out though on second string at 17 to 14. Alright, so we're bending up 17 catching 14. We'll do that four times. Then we're going to hit 14 again. Then we come to 17 to 14 on the second string, to 16 on the third, back to 14 on the second. Then we just roll from 16 to 14 twice, and then 16, 14 on the fourth. So that lick slowly, one, two, three, four. One more lick. Next little lick is very tasty too. It's 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 a good melody. It ends with a couple unison bends that finish out the song. So it's going to start here at the seventh position. All right. So basically, we're going to hit seven to nine on the fifth string to seven on the fourth, back to nine and seven and then nine twice on the fifth string. Then we're going to walk up a little bit, seven, nine, eleven, back to nine and eleven. So we have this. Then we go nine, eleven, nine on the third string. Now we're going to do the unison bend on twelve and ten. So ten on the second string seems the same stays the same and then we'll bend up 12 and then we end it at second string 12 and 14 on the third
great lead lines, listen for them, play with it. Um, I really hope this helps everybody. Again, my notes will be available linked below to download and enjoy.